Hey, hello, I'm Pablo Stanley from The Bueno Team. And today I'm going to give you a demo of how to use the Bueno PFP Maker for your NFT collections. So, first of all, let me just show you here this Photoshop file. This is something that I made on Procreate. And just like once I made it on Procreate, I just exported it to Photoshop just to be able to just like rename stuff really easily. So you can use Photoshop or you can use Procreate on your artwork and it will be fine. Also, you can use Figma, but I can do another video for that. Let's just focus on this one. The idea on this, like on this file, is that I do all the different traits, all the different uh, things that my collection will have and it put them in different folders so you can see that every trait group is separated by folders like hair clothes eyes and then in there every layer it's one of the traits so for example I have dress I have scribbles I have the polka shirt and so on so once I have my file ready I can export it and I want to export each layer as a separate image. So there's a script that allows you to do this. It's called Photoshop export layers to files fast. We'll leave a link down here and ways to just like to install it. So once your file is ready to export and you have installed the script, then you will see it here, scripts, and then also here, export layers to files. And then here it will open a window and has many different options. What you want to do is export all the layers and also you want to group as folders. And then just run it, just choose a folder and run it. I already did this, so it will usually just create a folder with all the different images as PNGs, which is exactly what we want. We want all the different traits exported. Now let's go to Bueno. I'm going to go to NFT bueno.art and if you have been invited then you should be able to see this and just connect your wallet i already connected my wallet and then i'm going to see the different collections that i have created as you can see i have a lot of different collections that are blank let's create a new collection so i'm going to go to create new i'm going to call it test bueno and here you say how many tokens do you want to do count and just like let's go ahead and just like go Go big and let's put 10,000 and I'm going to create this collection. So now I am in a new collection. So I need to upload my assets and I'm just going to drag the full folder. So it needs you to drag the full folder with everything inside. So it's uploading, it's going well. And now I can do many different things. I can just upload more stuff, sort the layers, view components. Let's actually go and preview our collection. Okay, the collection is there, but it's not looking great. Something is missing, right? Some, some of the stuff is just like on top of it, each other and doesn't look right. And that's because right now on the settings, the layers are a little bit messed up. So we need to go here since we are just importing images. Bueno is not able to know which one is which, but it's really easy to just adjust this here. So for example, I want the color background to be all the way to the bottom. Then after that, the texture. And then I think the body should be here on top of the texture. There you go. So now let's test it. Let's shuffle and see if it's working. It looks like it's working. So now let's go back to preview. And now all of your tokens in your token set should be adjusted with that new layer sorting. So, okay, that's it. We have 10,000 items. What else can I do? So potentially you want to start filtering out as an artist. You want to see how these combinations uh, ended up looking. So you can go and for example, let's check the eyes. Let's go ahead and check all the glam eyes. So randomly, it generated a lot of different tokens, combining everything and created a lot of different tokens with the glam shades. And you can just like filter out just like a, as an artist, you want to see like, are all the combinations looking good? Are they looking right? And sometimes there might be some combinations that you don't like. So for example, let's say that, I don't know why, but you as an artist, don't want to combine this eyes with this mouth. You're like, those eyes are not supposed to be as happy. So I want to create a rule that tells Bueno not to ever combine these two traits. So I'm going to create a rule. I just clicked on that. And here in context, I'm going to create a rule and I'm going to say, A, the Cyclop eyes, uh, 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 this one, I want to doesn't mix with 
and I'm going to say it doesn't mix with the GM mouth. <laughs> I call it GM. So let's create the rule. And now actually my token set was just generated again. And my token set was generated where that rule is being applied. So now if we want to test it and we want to go uh, and search for the Cyclop and I want to go with the mouth that was GM mouth, there should be zero item, zero results because there's a rule that doesn't allow it to be combined, those two traits to be combined. So you can have that kind of control. Now, let's go back to those glam shades. Let's say that you're like, you know what? If you see the rarity distribution, you see all the different traits and also you see a number. This number represents uh, how many of those exist in your collection. So right now, by default, they're all evenly distributed. So I think uh, all of these, there might be like nine different I traits. So they're all evenly distributed amongst my 10,000 uh, items. So they're all between 1,000 and 1,100, something like that, right? But let's say that I want the glam shades to be rare. I want the glam shades to not be as common. So to do that, I go to the manage uh, setting and here on manage, I have all my different traits. I see all of them in their groups, like all the clothes, all the eyes, and it can go in here and actually I can do many different things. I can go and delete some of these ones. Uh, maybe you're like, ah, I'm not going to use this one. You can just delete it and then generate the tokens again. And also sometimes you want to control rarity distribution of some of those traits. So for example, the glam shades again, I want to make the glam shades a little bit more rare. So we have different ways to control this. The most common one is this little rating system that we have. And it, if you can see, it is kind of like a weight. It's because of how we call rarity distribution with weight. The heavier it is, the more it gets picked by the algorithm. The leaner it is, the less weight it has, then the more rare it is. So I'm going to go all the way to, to one, and I'm going to say A, only put one of the weights here, but also if I wanted to, I can also set percentage or set a quantity. Uh, and now I'm going to go to my preview. And if we see the eyes, they're still, the glam shades are still 1100. So I'm going to regenerate the tokens again with that new distribution. And I'm going to go back to the eyes. And now there are only 91 in the whole collection. There are only 91 generated. So they're pretty rare looks rare. Now, another thing that you might want to see, maybe you're looking at the images that look pretty, but you just want to see the raw data. So you can go to the metadata tab and here you can just like navigate through the different traits. A, how many of the color background, what is the quantity and also the percentage of this trait and just like go on each one of them if you want to just like check them at a high level. What is the distribution on all of them? As you can see, Right now, since I haven't gotten deeper into setting rarity, they're all pretty evenly distributed. So, okay, another thing that you can do, just go to settings and here, as we saw, you can go and just like rearrange your layers. You can also uh, set rules and here, every rule that you created, it's here. So for example, that one that we created with Cyclop doesn't mix with GM. You can delete it if you want to, or you can edit it. You can also change just like a Cyclop only shows with GM. So there's like, that allows you to kind of say like this and this only mix these two together. It's a really, really cool way to just like set a way of uh, controlling your art. Also, if you want to invite other people to help you on this, you can just add collaborators. So this is my wallet, but if I want to, I can just click add and just add a wallet address that of a friend or someone in your team. So now you are ready, you see the preview, you really like it and you're like, I'm ready. I'm ready to explore this. I need the metadata, give me the images. So all of that happens here on the generate tab. Here on the generate tab, this is where you're going to see all the different token sets that you have created. So you can say generate from preview. That means a everything that you see here on the preview, generate me that. I like what I see, just generate a token set with that. Another thing is generate new. That means I see the preview, but I want something completely new, follow the rules, follow all my rarity, add the one ones that I put and just generate a new set. So you can do that here and just like generate the tokens. And once you generate them, they will appear here. This 
actually takes some time, so I'm not going to do it, but this is where you do it. And that's it. This is a pretty much just like an intro into how to use Bueno, the PFP maker, this generative art creator. And I think you are going to really like it.